Hello everybody and welcome back to Poison Mushroom, the show where I play some of the shittiest games of all time. We are here playing the gaming equivalent of a frontal lobotomy, Juliet's Fashion Empire. Let's get one thing straight, I think we all know how this video is going to end. It's obvious that this game is not good, I mean, it's not like you'd ever hear someone say, Oh, I'm playing Juliet's Fashion Empire and then feel the need to ask them, Oh! Is it good? No, it's obvious that this game is trash, but that's the point! Just how trashy is it? Immediately upon starting this game, this looks almost the goddamn same as the Apprentice game that we played a few weeks ago. So drag the model into this empty chair. Got it! Pick up a glass of orange juice. Alright! So I gotta deliver orange juice to the model. Da, da, da. Then just slap it out of her hand! Don't have this fatty! Lose 10 pounds or you're fired! You mean I actually had to feed her breakfast? Go on! Is she that idiotic? Well, I guess she is a model. This looks like how the Joker was made. You wanna know where I got these scars? Ooh la la, I think I'll just stay at this screen forever. This sends a good message to little girls too, right? If you wanna be as attractive as you can possibly be, make sure that your head is the size of a watermelon, you have Farrah Fawcett's 70s style hair, you have the makeup of an old whore who used to serve as sailors down at the dock, and a body that looks like an ostrich's neck. Oh lord, I think you overdid it on the plastic surgery a little bit. I can't close my eyes! Kill me! Why do all the models look the same? Is this a treatise on the homogenous nature of the fashion industry or just lazy game design? I think I know the answer. What is wrong with her left breast? You need to go see an oncologist immediately, lady. I'm sorry you had to hear the news this way. Expert goal reached? That was expert level? Jeez, it wasn't exactly like beating through the fire and the flames, was it? I am the greatest fashion emperor of all time! Oh shit, looks like I lost that to Justin Timberlake by a couple hundred dollars. How am I supposed to support my store on $42 a day? I mean, even Adrian, who's supposed to be tearing it up right now, only made $51. Real estate's not cheap, I got kids to feed! Swimwear. Features bright contrasting colors, employs the latest designs to stir up consumer interest. You know, I mentioned that you would never see your friend playing this game, I mean, hopefully never see your friend playing this game, and think to yourself, oh, how is it? Because the game's obviously just shitty, right? How do you think the people who made this game feel? Like, you gotta be proud of yourself. People were probably like, Oh man, you got a dream job, you're a game designer? That's awesome! Well, I'm a game designer on Julianne's Fashion Empire. May God have mercy on your soul. Oh, now I gotta give you some goddamn orange juice. You've been here for ten minutes, what are you, diabetic or something? Just pick it up. Alright, if we could just cut off her head, that would be awesome. I mean, the scissors are wider than her neck. 2x makeup combo, $25. I am the greatest player of all time. Okay, oh, not so happy. I don't like this. I don't like this either. I'm so happy. I smell an S rank, motherfuckers. Expert goal reached. What did I tell you? I like this stat here. Models lost. It makes it seem really dark, like somehow I killed them along the way. Well, never say never. God damn it, Adrian. Yoko's a Japanese model with experience in Tokyo. Yoko's a tough girl who wants to do everything her way, even the producers of the show in which the models can't control her however they put up with her because of her incredible skills. Amateur model patient. One of these things is not like the other. I call this outfit Business Vegeta. Oh my god, you're going as Corella Deville for Halloween? Once a novice, always a novice. The competition isn't over, Adrian. I still have time to prove I'm better than you. This game is making the fundamental mistake of assuming that its audience can read. Again, it's not really fashion week if you do it every week, is it? Are you seriously telling me that you can't locate that accessory on a shelf that is almost completely barren except for that and two other accessories? Well, here you go, Ray Charles. Jesus, she looks like she's wearing a broken ribbed condom. For nobody's pleasure. Please remember that my shop is making $42 a day, but it can supplement not only a full runaway with an audience behind it, but also a TV crew. Recession my ass. Oh, my new middle class boutique is being built. Sorry, proles, you won't be let into that one. Oh man, I smell a two times dress up combo coming up. What did I tell ya? $25 in my pocket. Suck it, Adrian. Ah oh, yes, we call it if Dolly Parton was a whore chic. I am Juliet, and I rule over my fashion empire with an iron fist! Amazing. Six performances, and I still haven't lost a model. That's safety right there. God damn it, Adrian! Here we are on level seven. The amount of variety in this game is just outstanding at this point. I mean, what will they throw at me next? Eyebrows? Yep, uh, I've done that before. Surely the game has something else to offer me. Two times makeup combo? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that, but if you could do something new, that would be nice. Alright, dressing the models, I mean... 
It's nice sometimes you can cop a feel, but I've done it all before. Surely you have something more to offer me. Keep it up. Gotta beat Adrian. Gotta keep the store afloat. Don't want Dad to think I'm a failure now. Of course, I meant my dad in the game, not my dad in real life. If my dad in real life knew I was playing Juliet's Fashion Empire, well, he would probably be disappointed, to say the least. I've reached my goal of being normal! I like how when you send them out, the people in the audience are like, FABULOUS! WOW! The same code and ensemble we've seen 15 times so far! On exactly the same woman! I'm amazed! Oh shit, I finally surpassed Adrian! Hey, where'd you learn to do those things? I'll give you a do somewhere you've never been. Well, it's a clue. Sorry, the font was too close together. I don't care if you were trained in the fashion capital of the world, which is Boise, Idaho, by the way. Well, no one could ever accuse Juliet's fashion empire of lacking variety. After all, in what other game could you serve orange juice to, and apply makeup to, and change the clothes of, up to four different character models? That's it for this week's episode of Poison Mushroom. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, likes and or favorites are appreciated. But in any case, I'll see you next week with yet another shitty game. Thanks for watching. So I gotta deliver orange juice to the model. Da, da, da. Then just slap it out of her hand. Don't have this fatty! Lose 10 pounds or you're fired!